What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here today doing part two of the outro tutorial. This time uh, we're going to basically do some stuff. So um, in the middle here I've just got kind of a blank area and uh, you guys will figure out how to put videos on this kind of block in a second here but first off we're gonna fill this blank area with something. So what I came up with was to kind of make my character just walk across the ground like that and then he trips okay that's that's what it's gonna be and then he's gonna like mumble a bunch of shit and wiggle around which I kinda still have to do but um we're gonna have to render this with absolutely no background so see how it's transparent okay so let's say you've uh, already keyframed and animated your character kinda thing that's gonna go in your outro uh, you can go to the uh, it's next to the camera tab. It looks like a bunch of photos. Just uncheck the sky box here, and then uh, it'll be transparent. So go back to the render tab, which looks like a camera, but not exactly. It's a like a digital kind of point and shoot camera thing. Anyways, uh, so make sure you are on PNG, and then make sure RGB is actually RGBA. So click RGBA. Um, the other thing is you're going to have to change the destination because we're going to be rendering a PNG sequence. So here I have my derp animation thing. All right, I'm just going to go to my desktop and uh, create a new folder here. One second. All right, after you've created the new folder, open it up and uh, it should be blank inside. So just click accept and then uh, you're good to go to start rendering. So um, just choose your um, start and end points and then click animation and it should render for you All right. okay now that we've got it rendered we need to go back into adobe after effects and then right click or no let's just go to file import um, multiple files and then just select the first file of your sequence in your folder so i'm actually going to go to my desktop click here and then click the first one uh, format PNG import as footage and PNG sequence then we're gonna open that and then we can just close this window and uh, we can drag this to our top layer and it should pop up like that we can move it around size it up that's what I'm gonna do whoops um, yeah so you can just play around with it but uh, it's rendered and it looks cool um, it will not play in real time at first because it's got to kind of do it, but once you play back, it'll play at full speed. Okay, so let's say you have everything done now, all right? This is the transitions part. So basically, we have to have all of these different parts, of, like the text, the images, transition at different times and have different transitions. So what I'm going to first do is let's just drag all of these tracks kind of in a diagonal pattern so that we can deal with them a lot easier. First off, this opacity kind of layer thing, I'm going to have it slide in. So uh, we're going to go to effects and prefix and search up linear wipe, I guess. Uh, could work, yeah. Or we could uh, do some kind of moving keyframes. I think I'm going to do that instead. So uh, click your face ortho or whatever kind of opacity layer that you chose and um, we're going to go to uh, we're going to click it and press P and we're going to click the stopwatch next to position. Alright? Um, and we're going to go ahead a few frames and actually click it but hold shift and kind of move it out of the frame. Then we're just going to reverse these frames, so switch them up so that, whoops, so that this one's at the start now, and this one slides in like that. All right, so I'm going to put that closer together, and if we press play, it slides in. I guess we want it to kind of slide in a lot faster than that. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, there we go. A little bit faster. That should be good. Okay, now I want our uh, wool base layers that we dealt with to just pop up kind of 
random. I'm not sure which transition I'm going to use, so I'll just pick one out. You go to effects and prefects when there's like nothing in the search bar, you can scroll all the way down and drop down the transition menu and it gives up a bunch of different trans uh, transitions that you can play with. And um, so basically, they're all the same, okay? They, they just do different things and have different settings. But the keyframe concept is all the same with each and every one of them. Okay, for the wool, I've picked a block dissolve transition. So all I did was I dragged it over to the wool, all right? And I have it up here now. So now what we're going to do is click the stopwatch next to transition completion, all right? And we're going to set this at 100% at first and then drag the the kind of timeline uh stick, I guess, a little bit further ahead, just a little bit and then turn it all the way to 0. So now that is automatically put in a keyframe. Uh, if we uh, drop down the menu for the actual layer, you can see it there. It's in black. But if we uh, drop down the effects and then block dissolve, you can see that we can now edit those keyframes so we can move them. But I think that's a, a good transition there. Now I'm going to move this other kind of wool layer and do the exact same thing with it. So drag the block dissolve to there. All right. And we're going to click the stopwatch next to transition complete, set it to 100%, drag the timeline keyframe thing or whatever that is uh, across the screen a bit, and then set it to zero. And then if we watch this, it's a fairly quick dissolve effect that we've got there. Now for the blocks, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the uh, transparent ortho face. So uh, basically, we're going to select the block layer, all right? We're going to press P, and we're going to click the stopwatch next to the position, all right? We're going to drag it a little forward, and then drag it out of the scene. So click it, and then drag it, and then hold shift so that it'll kind of align it up there, all right? And then we're going to drag this keyframe back just a bit so that we can get a fast transition. And then we're going to switch the keyframes just so that it's kind of easier to just start off like that. Um, there we go. So now we have it kind of rushing in. I'm going to make it a bit faster. And uh, there's one thing that we can actually do uh, to make this kind of transition look cool. First thing is on the last keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, easy in, uh, or easy ease in, and that'll kind of make the transition a bit more smooth. And then the other thing is uh, motion blur. So uh, click this motion blur tab up here, and then you can click this box here, it's uh, the far left one, and uh, that'll enable motion blur. It'll be a little bit harder to render as you can see, but it provides a really nice effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other one, but a slightly uh, longer delay. Okay, so I've uh, done that now for the both of the blocks, the uh, grass blocks. So as you can see, it's a really nice transition. <laughs> transition. So uh, I actually kind of want um, the text now to start coming in. So I'm going to drag this over here and I want Epic Sauce and the Minecraft Sauce to come in together somehow. So I'm going to pick a transition for that text. I've decided on image wipe so I'm just going to drag that over to just one of the texts for now and that'll be Epic Sauce. And then we have in the effects control panel right not in project but the effects control panel uh, you have like the transition completion again, so let's uh, move our timeline back to like here, uh, and we're gonna click the stopwatch on completion, turn completion up to 100%. Um, I actually don't like this transition. I'll choose another one. Never mind, I like it. So basically, what I did was I I checked auto softness and turned border softness up to 100%. So, so now it kind of wipes first like the actual text then the kind of outline and then all of that stuff so um, I'm gonna click the stopwatch so I've got it selected and we're gonna set completion to 100% move the timeline over a few frames then we're gonna s set it to 0% and do the same thing with the Minecraft sauce so I'm gonna drag that over to this layer okay I'm gonna move my timeline back to the beginning I'm gonna click completion the stopwatch drag it to 100% actually gonna make sure it has the same settings so border softness 100% auto softness check and then move over a few frames and then set it to zero so now we have a pretty cool transition there 
Uh, you could turn on motion blur on the text, but I'm not sure how noticeable it will really be, but I'll, I'll just turn it on anyways. So, um, yeah, let's move on. Okay, now for uh, the video kind of box text, I'm going to use the JAWS transition, so I'm going to drag that on to cool video first off, and um, we're going to create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch, and then change the completion to 100%, move along a bit, and then change it to 0%, and then if we play that, we can see how that transition went pretty nicely. You can also adjust other settings. As you can see, the jaw teeth may be too big for you. It all depends. Uh, you can change the direction and such. I'm going to set that back to zero. And uh, you can change it from like spikes to robot jaw to like block um, to waves. Uh, there's a lot of different settings in here like width. Uh, we could turn that down. So I'm going to put that like that height as well. There we go. And also, you can copy uh, transition settings, not the keyframes, I don't think. Maybe I could be wrong on that part. But um, yeah, you can uh, just copy. So I'm just going to Control C with JAW selected, go down to Awesome Video, click uh, the effects controls, and then Control V. And uh, it actually does copy the keyframes. But uh, yeah, that's a cool way and easy way of doing things. For the subscribe text, I'm going to use something called card wipe. Now, I've already dragged it on the text, but uh, when the transition is complete, it actually kind of slowly flips it, but then you can see it's actually just gotten rid of the like shadow background. It kept the outline, so uh, I think that's really cool. So I'm th thinking that I'm going to combine this transition with another transition, so uh, we'll see how that goes. So here I am combining this to two transitions, so card wipe and linear wipe, and I've already got 100% there. I'm going to go a little bit further with my timeline and change it to 0%. So that's where it kind of starts. And I'm also going to have it kind of like uh, fly in as well. So I'm going to do even a position tra transition. So I'm going to click the stopwatch, move it over here while holding shift and then uh, go ahead a little bit and then drag it in like that so we can create some motion blur and linear stuff so there we go let's see how that went went pretty well we can also repeat the card wipe transition to kind of flash the subscribe button but I'm not going to do that right now on tutorial thanks for watching part two part three is basically compositing and adding uh, soundtracks and adding the actual video to the blocks and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs>